Okay, welcome back. This is a continuation of question number four from June 2016, S1 Statistics 1, the legacy papers, <clears throat> not the IA ones. Um, we've done part A, B, C, and um, these are the results we got filled in the, the missing values in the table, in the um, Venn diagram. Now we're going to use this to continue this question. It says, find the probability of, and now it's got this weird kind of notation here. Now what this means is the probability of D given R intersection B. Okay, that's a conditional probability. So we're only looking at those people who are in R intersection B. R intersection B is this. Those are those people who booked a room and who booked breakfast. And we want to find the probability out of these people. Okay, what's the probability that they have also booked dinner? Okay, that they've booked a room and breakfast and from those people only we're taking, we're only looking at that, we're looking at the people in this particular um, circle, which is actually B here, because <clears throat> R in section B is B, because B is contained completely within R. Only from this circle where, okay, which of those have also taken dinner. So you can say, um, if you, we can understand this, okay, in, in this particular way, let me just get my pen ready. Okay, conditional probability, for example, the probability of A given B means the probability of A intersection B over the probability of B. Okay, so we only consider B. So we only consider the circle. So in this case, we only consider our intersection B. Our intersection B is this circle here. Okay, because it's complete, com contained complete within R. So what they're actually asking us to find for part one the probability of D given R intersection B is the probability of the intersection between D and R intersection B over the probability of R intersection B. Okay, so what is the probability, what's the intersection between D and R and B? Well, it's those people, okay, who have taken breakfast and also dinner, so 0 0.27. Over, we only want, okay, um, R in section B, okay, which is this B altogether. We only want that. We're only looking at those people. We're not looking at the rest of them. That's like our, our sample that we're looking at only. Okay, so that's like the denominator. That's what we're going to be um, dividing by. So it's 0 0.33 plus 0 0.27, which is 0 0.6. So that should give us our answer, 0 0.27 divided by 0 0.6. 0 0.27 divided by 0 0.6, which gives us 0 0.45. So that's the answer to part one. And part two, similar kind of thing. The probability D given R intersection B Complement. So our intersection B complement are those people who booked a room but without breakfast. So it's, it's these over here. Okay. So we're going to find the probability that someone booked dinner given that they took a room without breakfast. So those people who, who, who took dinner but they booked a room without breakfast. Okay. So the probability of this is going to equal the probability of D intersection R intersection B complement over the probability of, now we're looking at um, just this part, R intersection B complement, following this pattern here. Okay? So the probability of D intersection R intersection B complement is those people who are who have taken dinner and they took a room without breakfast. Okay, so it has to be outside of B, but inside R, intersection with D. So it's, it's just these here, 0 0.15. Those are the ones that are intersection with R inter, in section B complement. That means it's in R, but outside of B. Inside R and outside of B. Actually, it's these two here. That's also inside R and outside of B. Okay, but it's not, see, but that is not included. Why? Because... It's not in the intersection with D. Okay, so for that first one, you can't include this one, even though it's in 
the area R intersection B complement. It's not part of D. It has to be inside D and also outside of R, outside of B, inside of R. So it's, it's this outer ring here, okay, intersection with D. So it's 0 0.15. Okay, so that's 0 0.15 divided by the probability of R intersection B complement divided by all of this. This is what we're looking at. So we're looking at this and this now for that second part. You just want what's in R but outside of B. So it's like in this donut shape here. 0 0.15 plus 0 0.2. 0 0.22 that should be. That's 0 0.22 from the last question. So that's 0 0.15 plus 0 0.22. Okay, that will give us 0 0.37. Okay, so you have 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.37. 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.37. Okay, that doesn't give us, uh, that gives us like a recurring decimal. It's best to leave this as a fraction, so you don't have to round it. Okay, this is 15 over 37. We've left all of these as, as decimals because of exact values, and the format of the question was decimals, so it's best to leave your answer in the same format. But if something is a value that you have to round, it's better to leave it in its exact form so that you don't have to lose accuracy, especially if you've got to use it like we do now in part E. Okay, so now in part E, it says, A coach load of 77 customers arrive at a Harry's Hotel. Of these 77 customers, 44 have booked a room and breakfast. So they've booked a room and breakfast, so it's from these. And 37 have booked a room without breakfast, so they're the ones out here. Estimate how many of these 77 customers will book dinner. All right, so out of these, 40 have booked a room and breakfast. So we want to know how many, what's the probability, or uh, how many, first of all, what is the probability that if they've booked a room and breakfast, they're also going to book dinner? Well, that should be familiar. What's the probability if they booked a room and breakfast, but they've also booked dinner. That's this. So from those who booked a room and breakfast, this will tell us the probability that they've also booked dinner. That's going to be 0 0.45. So for for this, you're going to have 0 0.45 times those 40. Okay? We're only looking at those 40 in the circle who have booked breakfast. And 0 0.45 out of those have booked dinner. So it's 0 0.27 over 0 0.6. Okay, and 37 have booked a room without breakfast. So 37 have booked a room without breakfast. That's the ones out here. Okay, and we want to find out how many of them will also book dinner. Well, that should be familiar as well. That's what we found in the second part. The probability they book dinner, but they have a room without breakfast. Okay, on the condition that they have a room without breakfast. So that will be the probability that they have booked dinner on the condition that they have booked a room without breakfast. So that's 15 over 37. So we're going to have 15 over 37 times the number 37. That gives us 15. And 0 0.45 times 40. 0 0.45 times 40 gives us 18. So if that's the case, then you have to add these together. That's going to give you 33. So there's 33 customers, okay, will book dinner out of these 77, okay, because we use, I mean, basically, question part D leads you on to understand how to apply question E to what we've just done. Okay, 40 have booked a room and breakfast. How many of these also book dinner? Okay, so this is exactly that. They've booked a room and breakfast. And out of these, what's the probability that they're also going to book dinner? Okay. And here, the, ones, the second one says they've booked a room without breakfast, which is exactly this. Room, okay, in section B dash means a room without breakfast. And how many of these were also going to take dinner? So we've got the probability of, of those. Okay, 0 0.45, there's 40 of those. And 15 over 37, there's 37 of those. And you add them together and you get your total number or estimate of those who booked in it as well. Thank you very much for listening.